Jared Swift heard contemplating a move up to 160 pounds. I'm going to tell you guys why that's not a good move when we come back. Welcome to Real Life Boxing! <laughs> Blessed love and blessed day, oh, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. Shout out to Ninja Lani in the back. Jared Swift heard, while we are on the topic, he's contemplating a move up to 160. That would be a bad move, dog. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded and you can be notified when we are going live. Now, Jared Swift heard obviously pulled out, pulled out of his December rematch with J-Rock Williams and in the midst of it, he may be contemplating a move up to 154. Now, in my previous video, I explained how him pulling out of the fight against J-Rock that was a good move, dog. But I'm going to explain how him moving up to 160, that would be a bad move, dog. Let's get into it. Shout out to Killer Kill, Kill's Corner. Shout out to the Boxing Nerd. Those are the two shout outs for this video. Kill, Kill, Killer Kill like Kill's Corner. Make sure y'all go subscribe. Kill's Corner with a K and the Boxing Nerd. Um, huge supporters of the channel, obviously. Um, me and Coach Kill are like this. And, um, you know, shout out to the Boxing Nerd. Um, I like the Boxing Nerd. Let's get into this. Um, Jared Hurd, 160 pounds. Bad move, dog. I'm explaining. Jared Hurd, at 154 pounds, he's big. People say he's big. But I don't know if weight has been his issue. He doesn't really seem to have a stamina issue. He doesn't really seem like he's getting dehydrated trying to make the weight of 150 of 154 pounds. So I don't know if the move up in weight class would be good for Jarrett Hurd. I say that to say this, if you have problems at 154 pounds, um, it's not much nicer up there at 160 pounds. I mean, Charlo, um, Andrade, Canelo, even though Canelo's all over the place, he fights at every weight class that he wants to fight at, but I'm just saying, Charlo, Andrade, um, Charlo, Andrade, Canelo, um who else you got up there 160 pounds um triple g obviously dervianchenko and all these guys i'm just saying as far as talent and skill it's not any easier up there at 100 and at 160 pounds heard right i don't think size is your issue I don't think weight is your issue. I think your issue is skill. And up there at 160 pounds, there's a lot of skilled fighters. You feel me? So um I don't I don't think that Jared Hurd moving up to 160 uh, to 160 pounds, I don't think that's good for Jared Hurd. I think he still has work to do at 154 pounds. I just don't think that weight is his issue. He would have lost to Lara if Lara would have thrown like 20 more punches, right? Um Hurd would have lost that would have lost that fight. Now, he he got thumped by 
J-Rock, even though he fought back, but he still got beat up. And I mean, he beat up Charlo. I mean, not Charlo. He beat up Erislandi Lara, but he also got beat up in that fight. You know what I'm saying? He did beat up Lara, but he also he also got beat up in that fight. And if if Lara maybe had a little bit more punching power, he may have stopped um, Jared Hurd. I'm just saying. So, again, I don't think that Jared Hurd's issue is weight. I don't think that his issue at 154 pounds is the weight limit. I don't see him. He's not struggling to make weight. He's not getting dehydrated um, in camp to make weight. He doesn't have a stamina issue. His issue is skill. That's his issue. His issue is skill. So, in my humble opinion, it'll be a bad move for Jared Hurd to move up to 160 pounds to 160 pounds the middleweight division and try to fight at the top of the, the at the top of the division the world class the world champions at the top of the division you're struggling with the champions at 154 pounds and it doesn't get any easier up there as far as skill wise that's just my personal opinion you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section until then keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times peace and one love so if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.